a little bit behind this morning. We are all out of cereal in the house and went back to good old fashioned eggs. My daughter used to eat eggs almost every day and then Then we've gone back to cereal. It's easy. They like it, but I'm sure eggs are a lot better anyways. It just takes a bit more time to get going in the morning. All right, let's pull up the this thing. Oh, let's change our title. Let's go to Title. Title is up to date. Okay, let's go ahead and get, uh, okay, we got our terminal going here. Let's get it to the right spot. Um, okay, let's switch over and do, uh, Metro diff. All right, as we get going, here, let's uh, pull this guy down. We got Ava's artwork here from yesterday still in. Um,
All right, let's do a um, let's see where we're at. Um, PyTest. Make sure we're all all passing here. All right, we have 803 tests passed. Three seconds. I dropped a stream manager. Hey, if you want to toss a link in here, um, just do like underscore com or something like that instead of dot com. Sun Nightbot picked up. Uh, if that becomes a problem, we can change it. But uh, haven't uh, haven't had enough chat to to know yet. Uh, also, thank you, Beerus, for the follow five hours ago. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, so we got our our tests running. Uh, Git branch should be on node diff. Um, I don't. We might be like ready to get node diff merged in. I'm not. Can't even remember where we were last. Um, um, okay. We're mostly up to date. Um, let me run a Kedro. Uh, I'll do uh, <coughs> Edra, oh, diff. Okay. So this is still <coughs> working to give us some sample outputs. Um, so we get a, a diff uh, similar to what like a git stat would look like. You know, this example here oh, should specify that we're looking at Python and it should also do like a, um, like Kedro diff dash dash stat or something is like showing that that's uh, how you'd get that example to work. Um, down here, we have some full pipeline diffs uh, that list out nodes that have been dropped, nodes that have been added, and a node that has changed, and it changed its input. It took output 2, and now it accepts new output as the input. Kind of curious if we... Um, we look at Pedro's base flights, uh, get status. Um, we're going to just do get add dot. Um, we'll do rm clean. I'm going to see what, uh, see what it looks like here. Um, rm my shareable pipeline dot json yeah don't need that uh git uh diff what's in new nodes okay apparently i felt like adding some nodes to this uh, that's okay um maybe that'll help us with the diff um Let's quit out of this. Pip install home git kedro uh, dash diff. Um, hold on. We are working on this live, so dash e editable. <coughs> <clears throat> Still got that morning, morning voice going, trying to get my throat 
villain. So now we should be able to do a Kedro diff. Oh, we have to do the diff. Um, okay. Um, I actually want to, let's do a git log. We're going to grab um, let's do this. Let's, uh, we have this implement find Kedro. Let's go from C404 to C1FEE. -E. And then we've got a C, 404, C, 1, F, E, E. I think I'm right. Okay. Um, none type has no attribute project path. I was afraid something like this would happen. Um, I think like the the latest version, uh, seventeen three threw me off. It, everything was working nice in seventeen two. Let's look at the version we have. Um, this is good to do, run some tests on an actual project. Um, so we're looking at one forty four in. Uh, CLI.py 144 GG. Okay, that's in diff. Um, oh, metadata.project path. We're on 117.3 and we don't have a project path. Okay. Um, Um, let's look at Kedro Viz. <coughs> um, source. Nope. Rich has all the front end side uh, package. There we go. Is do, do we have a project path in here anywhere that might help us? Hey, I'll uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> um, I'm using the Poker Three. I can't even remember who makes it. Um. And they put the, they replace the E with a three, Vortex, um, with Cherry MX Clears. For Father's Day, I have a sweet new split key coming. I'm a little bit nervous about uh, switching from, from, uh, from here over to a split, but I think it'll be good in the long term. So this bootstrap project is what I think we need. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is something about Jupyter server accepts a project path. This is exactly. And Lim mentioned to me that he put things in integrations and this is like his shim layer to like suss out different versions and like make them behave similarly 
Yes, I, I use uh, Starship in the shell. Super, super good. Way better than spending hours on a PS1 that is half broken. Uh, Starship just works. Uh, Starship.rs. Anyone else who isn't sure what we're talking about? Um, super cool prompt that just works with everything and has everything I need without fussing with it. Okay. So he's doing this bootstrap and he is looking for 17.3. Um, he's pulling bootstrap project from Kedro Framework Startup. But where does he get project path from? Like who determines project path? References. Uh, okay. Uh, references. Are we still we're still in integration load data references. Okay. Loving this LSP support from GitHub here. Uh, run server. Here. Path path project path if project path else path. Ooh, I like that. Else just use the current working directory. Because actually, like right now, I'm in the project, and I want that. Um, so let's see, what can we do? How else does he get a project path? Who calls run server? References. Run server. Um, I think this is what I want. The the CLI, not in test. Um, okay, so click option, uh, run server. Um, yeah, buddy. Okay, yeah, you can get this. Thanks, buddy. Um, <laughs> so he's calling run server a bunch of positional arguments and it's hard to see project path is at the end after environment and it's none um, never even gets touched I wonder if project path is for testing purposes only or why it's even in here um, do we have a path yes load file save file okay I think we're going to follow suit on this uh, if project path else current working directory. Um, okay. I'll pull, pull this down so we can pull it back up later if we need it. Um, project path. Um, let's do uh, project. Do uh, v5j do a substitute metadata dot project uh, project path. Okay, and then we want to do try metadata dot project path. Um, and 
then we're over in space flights. Can we can we do some diffs? It seems like it's working. I should have done like verbose so I could see. Um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to load up two data pipelines, get like a, a, a DAG object out of it that um, tells us about um, nodes, where they come in and out. Uh, so it'll give us uh, inputs, outputs, tags, and then we're going to compare those and then print them to the screen, hopefully looking good. What I'm expecting is some names to change on this one. It, this is taking longer than expected, so we may have to abort. Let's plug something in. Let's do a uh, verbose. Still thinking hard. Um, pull up the. We're doing this. Working on it live. We can see some of our project process progress back from April fifth. We got diff stat to work. Um, we fixed diff stat. Um, I ran it on a work project and then ob obfuscated some things. And then here we're getting full diffs. Man, like a month, a couple months have gone by and we're still kind of at the same spot. Um, progress slowed up. Um, so we might need. Um, let's do, um, uh, live search for verbose. So we're saying if verbose is um, okay. What was that? What? I should have opened that. Uh, so if verbose is greater than two, or great, we'll do greater than one, then uh, we'll start printing some stuff. Uh, Bose, greater than one. Then, do we have a console logger? Um, okay. 
think I want to extract. Um, extract this out. So I have a function called get JSON that uh, as a dash quiet a and then some different verbose methods. Um, uh, let's do uh, what kind of files do we like? Do we have a I'm just going to make a new module and D9J because I don't want to do this a bunch of times. Um, def get logger. Uh, we want quiet. Um, equals false verbose equals zero. I don't know if we need both, but actually. Um, uh, def logger. And then we want verbose first. Verbose equals zero quiet. Uh, false. And then return locker. And this should be get locker uh, from no from. Uh, import login. Okay, silent loggers. Okay, then this is going to start taking in some more imports. I think. Did we not need to import anything? No. Cool, cool stuff. Um, so then over here, um, we're going to get rid of the Kedro diff, Kedro uh, diff dot logger import get logger. To trying to say uh, full screen loggers not access that's fine um, so I made a logger and then never used it <laughs> um, okay so the this project path um, where's our dev diff Uh, so we can do logger equals get logger. Um, we need to name our logger. Um, or we don't need to name our logger. We're going to just call everybody's going to get... Uh, Pedro, uh, diff for now. I, th I don't see that changing. I don't think we need any more granular view into a logger. Uh, get logger. And then we do verbose equals verbose. 
and Wyatt equals Wyatt. And here's not access logger dot log. Um, Quiet is not defined, so let's search for quiet. And we have it down here. Go up to verbose, quiet. Um, So now we're logging some things. Um, what else would be? Um, So this one actually hit something. Um, no such file or directory, Kedra diff, file not found error, okay. Um, ls, ls dash lht, we should see Kedra diff here. Oh, we're in Ketro diff. Uh, CD space lights ls lht. Wonder if this is our issue of it not uh, for not making the Ketro diff directory. Um, do dash vvv so dash vvv will be a triple verbose um, logging a log missing one required um, how do I even do a do I have to do like I don't want to um, set my log level each time. Okay, logger dot warning. Okay, which is where I started, and then I, the autocomplete threw me off a bit. Um, we want info. Um, does that work? I just, um, logger dot warning. Cannot find parameter in the catalog. Um, Looks right. Um, 
my Python. Um, from Ketro. Uh, if logger import get logger logger equals get logger uh, logger dot log hey logger is there an info no info what can we do on logger Did we return? Is that our issue? We return the logger, get logger. Always returns. Um, logger is a function. Oh. Logger info, hey. Okay. And if we do get logger verbose equals five, that's where we should see it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with lockers, apparently. So I set the log level to info. Logger info. Logger to warning. Hey. So it gives me warnings. Um logger dot set level uh, import logging logger dot set level logging dot de debug So if I'm at debug, I get a hey. If I'm at info, logger. If I set level to info, still nothing. If I go to debug, nothing. If I go to warning, nothing. What was working? Oh, because I was going up to, I was doing a warning. I want info to work. Uh, can I set level one? Neither one works. He likes black color, galactic, jeans, <laughs> epic. Uh, I think I, 
I set up a, do I have this key forward? Oh, we have not set keyboard up yet. I thought we did. Um, search for in, in info. Yeah, Galactic, I got to set those up. I don't know what, I don't know what commands I have set up, not very many. Um, where's an example of them? Okay, logger dot warning message, log a level info on this logger. The arguments are interpreted as for debug. Info is 20. Set level sets the threshold for the handler to level. Uh, logging messages, which are less severe than this level, will be ignored. A handler is created. The level is set to not set, which causes all messages to be processed. Um, what is not set? Is that zero? Not set is zero. Okay. Um, we don't need for like, it should just work. to got a work message coming in uh, let's do Um, how do we get a logging.info to work? Uh, logging, okay. I will not print anything. Um, Set level logging dot debug. Um, create a console handler and set level to debug. Um, I guess, oh, Galactic, uh, thanks for the. Thanks for the follow. That was a couple minutes ago. Um, I guess you asked about mouse and keyboard. I got the Razer Etheris mouse, Bluetooth, and then uh, Vortex Poker 3. We do a, uh, how do you add commands at Nightbot? I'm getting distracted now. Um, see, we did a keyboard. It's here. I wonder if I have to, if the alias, if I did the alias wrong. How do you, how do you add commands? 
Anyways, let's stick to what we're trying to do. We're trying to log some messages, and apparently I don't know how to do so. Um, create a logger, and then in application code we just do this kind of stuff. Um, if I do a logger.warning, I don't get anything. Oh, because my level is 100. Um, zero. Okay. And I can warning, and I can not info. Um, logger, log, um, 20, okay. Uh, why does it work if we go above 50? 30? Not 30. 20. 20 does not work. Why does 20 not work? set to warning logging logger dot see we did a set level it still says warning why does it say warning Specifies the lowest severity log message for the logger, where debug is the lowest. Um, set level message, just as in logger objects, specifies the lowest severity. Dispatched. Um, so here they're creating a logger with get logger. They're doing set level. is not setting the level for me. Um, let's do import logging uh, logger equals get logger. Um, logging dot get logger uh, me logger dot set level dot not set I still can't Yes, Wyatt. Hold on. Go to do. Um, at this point, I feel like I'm in the weeds. 
and uh, df there uh, print we will make this a logger later um, Oh, this is the one. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to run Ketro diff on a, on an actual project and we are bumping into some project path issues today. Um, I suspect it's a, a change that happened from version, uh, 17.2 to 17.3. We're not getting any messages. Um, yeah, we wanted to, um, we're just gonna do, uh, copy this, do a uh, DT there, print, save, uh, zoom in again. Um, Okay, so project path is set to space lights. Why is it just like it's stalling out on me? And I don't know. Don't know where. This was working before we went to 17.3. It's working on 17.2. And now it is not working. We set the project path. We never converted pipelines. Uh, let's fix out of that. Um, so we are into JSON. Let's make sure that we are getting um, parsing and uh, parsed. We're going super old school print statement debugging here. 
Okay, so it gets that one. Um, um, vertex commit one to JSON. LS, LIHT, um, I guess, okay, so we do have a Ketra diff. Um, okay, there's nothing in it. Um, so earlier it complained. Okay, no such file or directory. Ketra space flights, okay. Can we do um, like a dot dot head does this work? And I guess what what are our commits? Um, To commit one colon commit one uh, uh, substitute one with two everywhere. Save. I will. What happens when we do this one? It parses them into that. Is this? I wonder if the parse is not. Because the parse should return a commit hash. Um, let's go back here. And do I uh, go to definition? Um, so here we're setting up a logger again, which I don't want to do. I want to I want to do the thing on the right, but the thing on the right is not working. Um, F using temp uh, temp directory temp dir name okay we made it here um, print Spell that right. Print uh, F project copy to um, tempter. We'll spell that out directory. Actually, it happened here. Here we have a commit checked out. Checked out. We'll do check out, yeah. <laughs> so I'm bumping into issues, copying, using copy tree. 
for setting up this logger. Is it this logger that um, okay, logger is set up. Um, go to definition. Copy tree. Is it the V and V? Did I if I I wonder. I've never done this with a dot V and V before. Um Let's do CP uh, Kedro. Oh, C, uh, copy Kedro space flights to Kedro space flights. No DNV. Uh, dash R. Something's locked. There's something <laughs> weird going on in this directory. Is that the data? It's it's not that big. It's not that big, is it? Uh, split. Um. Kedra space flights. Oh, how do I? I have this guy. It can't even tell me. I wonder what it's missing. Like, what are we, I can't, I can't copy things. Okay. Let's do a closed session, X, X, X. Uh, we're even gonna do a Tmux kill server. Exit, exit. Using WSL, I have a suspicion that WSL is throwing us for, for a loop here. I don't know, though. Uh, it, uh, it a, uh, if, if we... Okay. And then... I activated that. I don't know if I should uh, CP. Why can't I copy this? Is there a tool that copies things like respecting a git ignore? Um, is there a way we could do that? No, we, we don't want to do that because, um, Out loud here, oh, 
Quest Atlas Durs Tursers. Source is a path, dust is a path. Okay. Um my Python. Let's do import OS. Um path lib import path. Path that current working directory. Uh, source equals uh, OS dot list dir stir source Delete to their items. Items equals this. And let's do item for item in there. If item not in. Okay, so what we want for ignore items is dot in brc dot get. No, we need our dot get actually. Um, dot, um, v, env. This is the this is the one that I think is causing us the issue. we go. It was that VNV. Okay, so today we learned we definitely need a, a Petro diff ignore, and we have nodes like we expected at the very beginning. Um, and what has happened is We've created a dunder. We've renamed our pipelines. So since we renamed pipelines from dunder default data processing dot nodes, um, I think this is, and it's actually backwards. I don't know. I need to check git c1 f e e. We'll get rid of the verbose, but our print statements will still be there from today. We have a bunch of stuff coming in that may not even be our print statements. Um, okay, this, this looks better. So, um, new nodes question if I have this backwards um, we do a git diff 
Um, we should see green on new nodes. Okay, plus find Kedro. I think this is good because we added find Kedro and that's what renamed our pipelines for us. Um, we got rid of create pipeline. We got rid of all the node imports and converted. Um, so if we go back to get a uh, log, the thing that happened in the space lights tutorial is we finished uh, my Enketro diff. Um, okay, we finished the tutorial and then we implemented find Kedro, which has a slightly different way of naming nodes out of the box, or naming the pipelines out of the box. So that gave us new pipeline names. And we can see that in the diff here. And we can see we no longer import um, DSDP. We just return find Kedro pipelines path. And it figures everything out for us. Okay. And then when we Kedro diff, Okay, so um, next time we need a, okay, new nodes. We got rid of DSDP. We now have data science nodes and data processing nodes. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna clean up for the day just a little bit, um, read me. Um, we need a uh, configuration. Uh, we need a needs dot catro. Uh, diff ignore. I think this is going to go in the config file. So users could potentially change their Kedra diff ignore. Um, and that would solve the issue here where I couldn't copy this VENV. If their VNV was named different, they could pop that into their ignore items. Most of the time, that's not going to matter. Um, we can't use a git ignore because things like credentials are required to like kickstart up the pipeline object and we'll likely get a, some sort of error message without those. So if they have like a, a credentials.yaml on their machine, they still need them. Okay. Um, let's uh, go to commit. This. Oh, I got pre-commit installed. Okay. Um, I want to see. Oh, you, there you go. Oh, I have print statements here. I don't. I don't want these here. I don't want to commit these. That was part of my. I did want to commit this. Will Fugitive help you? Uh, fugitive. 
tab. Um, stage selection. Run GC def command, it will open a split. Um, what in the original window? Get add run diff put command to operate on range DP. Okay. Well, I'm going to try this. Um, I quit, then it won't commit that. Um, let's do this. We have this staged. We will unstage it. Um, we can do G diff. Uh, maybe we need to be in the file we want to be in. Only uh, G diff. And then when we do this, uh, you can simply use vim's diff command dpdo to diff put diff get to move the hunk to the stage index. Um, okay. We can diff okay, so if I diff put and I do G um, it's to, oh we have to uh, So we have to write it. Now if I run G, ooh, staged has that. All right, so one positive of the morning, I learned a fugitive command. Pump for that, GCC. Um, staged. It's not GCC, just CC. Now we're doing another pre-commit. Uh, set up to ignore virtual in the, the run. I'm going to make note of the fugitive. Okay. Uh, staging hunks in the file you want to stage hunks of run a colon g diff. Then use uh, Vim's diff commands. Uh, those are DP, DO. Okay. 
diff put diff get move punk between the stage then write the file to Do a G diff, uh, diff put colon W colon something like that. Okay. Um, I have some work things to get to, so I am going to sign off for the day.